It's beginning to look a lot like October. <laughs> Everywhere you go. Finally. 12 years later. Pumpkin napkin for you. Oh, thank you. Pumpkin napkin for me. Oh, we're just little pumpkins. Just have me. <laughs> Hey everyone! Hey! So today Riley and I are going to be filming a dun -dun 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 -dun, a pumpkin spice taste test video Ooh. and we are going to be testing out all of the many pumpkin spice flavored things Plus such as oatmeal pumpkin. and waffles and bagels and craziness. We're just going to be trying all kinds of crazy things. And trust me, I think we're trying everything. We even got pumpkin napkins to eat our food Yeah, on. I might use it as a bib so, at one point. Like. All right, let's start with the coffees. <laughs> While it doesn't look like this, we got a blended, an ice, and a hot. hot. We got a hot pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks, an iced pumpkin pumpkin coffee from Dunkin' Donuts, and a blended, um, a local. A local coffee yes, shop. A blended, like a coffee or a pumpkin frappuccino from a local coffee place. Mm -hmm. So we can test out all different kinds of pumpkin spice coffees and yeah, this I have never tasted before, so this will be a new one for me. Just kidding, I get it like every day. So we'll start with the hot and then make our way here. Yes. Actually, we should probably start with this one. Yeah. <laughs> before it gets any worse. Little. Oh, here. Let's just not consume the paper, Riley. Oh, first, <laughs> first casualty of the video. For me, not liking pumpkin, I actually really like that. I like it. Just think mm. about it when it would have been in its prime. Yes. <laughs> when it was still blended. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, it. Buying smalls is a sad life. Mmm, that's sad good. Life. It's like perfectly pumpkin-y and perfectly sweet. I like it. That's yummy. It's very rare that we like the same sweetness of coffee. So. Yeah, that is, that's very true. Oh, that's good. Clean the palate. There you go. Okay, okay good, good. next. You can start with this one since I started with the last. Okay. Look at the cute little is the... breast cancer. I oh yeah, assuming. is that why they did the pink? And then next is the iced coffee from Dunkin'. Ooh. Did you use straight up sugar? It tastes like a candle. Not horrible, not great. I don't like it. Tastes like that thing. Yeah. Which also is pumpkin. <laughs> and then the ba -ba 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 -ba, this is the best. The most I'm iconic pumpkin. Starbucks drink. What started all the pumpkin spice? This is what started it all. I'll let you go first since I've tasted it one too many times probably. Really I like this one a lot. You really? Yeah. Same I, I had one of yours the other day and I didn't like it. But it, however, that one's made. Dunkin' is not good. That one's probably getting thrown away. Okay, you so can actually drum roll this. <laughs> to start off, we're gonna try the um, Chobani, Chobani uh, pumpkin spice Greek yogurt. So yogurt. I don't want to think about how this hasn't been refrigerated for the past hour. <laughs> oh. The smell is promising. I actually like it. I feel like pumpkin and like yogurt are two very. Like, I feel like this is a things. test. I feel like this is a test to see how poorly we eat, how poor our manners are. They raise us good in the True. middle of the country, the Midwest. I like it. I don't know why. It's like pumpkin, but kind of sour, you know? Like, but that's the Greek yogurt. So like, get your idea. Mm. Oh, I guess we should rate everything. Our local coffee shop blended drink. I give it ten out of ten. I give it an eight. I have nine out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. And I give the start about Starbucks PSL. Um, probably also an eight. Mm, yeah, an eight. <laughs> ten out of ten. Dunkin, I give a four out of ten. Oh, I don't even give that. I give oh, it like two. two out of ten. Two. It tastes like I'm drinking a candle. This, what do you rate it? Um, mm -hmm. I like it a lot actually. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let me not feed it to you. I give it a nine. I actually really like it. Like I might actually reach for this mm -hmm. first. Is kind of how I'm thinking of it. I it's seven out of ten. I really like it. Oh, donut bites. I forgot. Give me all these for free for a dollar. When he said five, and then Emily's pretty, so he gives her ten. Oh, blessed to have a beautiful friend. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, give us nine. The bright orange. Mmm. This one looks better because it's like, well, it might be because the time of the day we got this is weird, but they're really good when they're fresh. I've had these before, mm -hmm. but 
I think I like it. Oh yeah, by the way, these are the pumpkin cake donut holes mm -hmm. from Dunkin'. They are out of the donut, so. I rate that a 10. I really like this. 10, yeah. I would like, I, like, I genuinely think that blueberry cake, my number one donuts, and those probably my number two, maybe yeah. number one for this time of year. Like, I like that more than any donut. Like, if that was available all year round, I'd probably get that. Yeah. Next, should we try the bagels? Pumpkin bagels. We could not find bagel, pumpkin spice cream cheese to save our life, and I know it exists. Find this brand. Ooh, they're good. Mmm. Mmm. I like those. I like those a lot. We were debating, and then we smelled them. Oh, oh they smell so good. And they taste really good. I know it's because all the donuts are together, but it smells better than one by itself. Yeah, these are just plain, straight up bagels, like the, just the pumpkin ones with no cream cheese or butter or anything. They're mm -hmm. really good. I can only imagine how good it would be with the pumpkin cream cheese. I or, or even any them. cream cheese. Those what little creamy one? fillings. Yeah. You see it? There's one right here. I just got a bite of one. Mmm. I haven't gotten one yet. They're yummy oh. little things. 10 out of 10. I give it a 9. Just I was about to say maybe a 9. I'm like, I give it a 9 because I'm not like a huge bagel person. The donut has things. Donut. <laughs> the bagel has things. <laughs> While I'm looking forward to these, I'm also kind of dreading these. Because pop I don't like Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts can do a lot of things good, but they can also do a lot of things wrong. So. Oh, right now we are trying the limited edition pumpkin pie frosted Pop-Tarts, I forgot they were. They somebody to... already, look, somebody took a bite out of it. There's so... not even another part in there. Oh my God. Let's there literally the... isn't. Let's break the prettier one. Look at that. Do you see it? It has a bite out of it. Put the reject back in the back. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I dare you to take the biggest bite. I don't know if I'll, I don't even like I know. Who's going to take a bite? What's this thing? <laughs> I can't taste anything. <laughs> Same. I just taste like the pop tart. There is the smallest hint of pumpkin. Pumpkin, but not pumpkin spice. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? I don't hate them. You know what it tastes like? That tastes like solid form of the Dunkin' drink. It tastes like tea. What? I've never had tea, but it smells <laughs> good. It smells, it tastes like the smell of tea. There is a little bit of, like, I don't like her. I don't hate them. I give them, like, a five. I keep saying pumpkin spice as if <laughs> we have any other flavors. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do the cranberry muffins, actually. And there's little seeds on it and everything. Ooh. Pumpkin muffin from... Pumpkin muffins. Oh, yeah. Uh, Target's Bakery. We just saw pumpkin spice. We're like, pumpkin! <laughs> Cheers. Um, we, had, we were, like, orange heart eye emojis walking through Target. <gasps> The kind of healthy tasting. Mm hmm. That's what I was kind of thinking. Like a um, pumpkin wheat bread is what it tastes like. It kind of tastes like great. the Starbucks pumpkin bread, but not as good. Actually, I kind of like it the more I eat it. Very, I know everyone hates this word, but very moist. I don't know that word. Moist, moist, moist. <laughs> Sorry, I will. I'm not really a muffin person that much, but I like, I, I like, like me some muffins. I, I rate this it. a seven. I think I might give it a solid 9 out of 10. Ooh. I'm I would go out of my way to buy really like a muffin. <laughs> <laughs> I would go out of my way to buy this at Starbucks. It tastes like their pumpkin bread the more I eat it. This is a good one. Lucky you. There's another one left. Look, see. Reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> we will BRB. We are going to cook ourselves some uh, pumpkin spice oatmeal and some pumpkin spice waffles. It's about to be breakfast Lego time. Lego my here. ego. Okay, so next up are the pumpkin spice Waffles. We already took the box down, I think, with us, but they are literally pumpkin spice flavored waffles. Egg so we egg put them waffles. in the yes, we put them in the toaster, buttered it, put some syrup on it, and now it is time to taste it. And I'm eating it plain. I like. Hmm. I love Eggo waffles as it is, but I really like these. I can't taste the pumpkin spice or the waffle. <laughs> Oh, I taste the well, syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that's the waffles fault. Well. I may have put too much toppings on it because I can't taste the pumpkin. They're good. I give them um, probably an... I can kind of taste the pumpkin on your Eight and a half. Because I want to give them a ten, but I'm going to use my ten sparingly. It should be like... The thing with pumpkin spice is sometimes it's like pumpkin, and then sometimes it's like really sweet, and then sometimes it's like really spicy. This is like the perfect... 
I liked it. I liked it's a good amount of sweet, spicy, and pumpkin. Next up, ba -da -ba -ba -ba, is probably what I'm the most, I don't know if I'd say most excited for, but pretty excited about, and that is the pumpkin oatmeal. By Quaker. I feel like it probably doesn't look very appetizing, but is that a good consistency for you? That's pretty, ch that's pretty chunky, I would say. No. I Ellie like and I have very different oatmeal consistency preferences. Like, I like mine pretty, like, wet and runny. runny. <laughs> yeah, I like mine to be kind of soupy. And she likes hers to be dry as a desert and chunky, like, no milk. Okay. <laughs> it's like a thick not I don't just eat the oats. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, really thick and taste like. <laughs> Maybe a spoonful of milk. I don't like the texture of oatmeal, but whenever it's drier, I do. Yeah. I'm the opposite. I like mine really milky, so <laughs> I tried to do a middle that would make us both content, <laughs> but you want to taste it first? Or you, you go first. Okay. I'm kind of nervous. You're the oatmeal lover here. Mm. Sorry if I gag. <laughs> it's cinnamony, but I don't know if it's really it that taste pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I do now. The aftertaste. The aftertaste is, it kind of tastes like the donuts. Well, I guess they're all, they're pumpkin spice. It kind of has the like same a, flavor as like the, the other bagel twin things you try. And the egg <laughs> and, and I like it. I eat pumpkin, I eat oatmeal like just about every morning for breakfast, and this will not go to waste. I will eat this. We'll other finish dishes. the breakfast foods. We gotta put our cereal and our milk. You wanna go? Do I taste the dry first? They're the mini mini weeks. They're really tiny. Ooh. Odd. They kind of feel like dog food. Dog food. Dog. <laughs> um, we're doing the frosted mini wheats, pumpkin spice. Not I don't pumpkin. know. <laughs> pumpkin spice. I don't know if this is um, surprising to you, but if they are pumpkin spice. <laughs> and they're orange. They're little orange little guys. Do you want? Are you sure you don't want to dip it in some milk first? No, I guess you're sure. I can't eat a frosted mini wheat dry. Hold up. <laughs> Other than it being <laughs> incredibly dry, I liked it. They're better with milk. Although, I don't really taste the pumpkin that much. Oh, wait, wait. I tasted the pumpkin more when I ate them dry. <laughs> Are you really gonna taste a pumpkin spice latte? <laughs> <laughs> really, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. They don't, weren't really any better or worse than the original, honestly. Worse. I'm trying to like see if there's something back. I taste a very subtle, Hint of, of cinnamon, not even pumpkin. So taste, they're good. They're just like regular wise, frosted mini wheats. Yeah. So taste wise, I give them like an eight or a nine because I love frosted mini wheats. But pumpkin spice wise, I give it like a four. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't taste it. I would, overall, I would say maybe a seven out of ten. But the like I wouldn't go out of my way to get them because they don't really taste like pumpkin-y. All right. All right. That's the very last thing. It is the very last is thing. Is it really? Milano cookies. <laughs> Featuring Lauren, because I guess we need a tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at them. These are usually really good. Oh, they even right. chocolate Cheers, in them. guys. I don't know chocolate and pumpkin yeah, spice goes together. I was just thinking that. I was like, the cookie don't... and the pumpkin part would probably taste really We good. all have the same thought, because as soon as I've been into it, I was like, hmm. Yeah, I don't like it. Mm. Cause it was six. Mm. Yeah, actually, I give it a five. Not good, not bad. I give it a five. I give it a four. I'm not saying I won't finish the bag, but <laughs> not saying I won't have another like twelve. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish it was just pumpkin spice and cookie. You know what? Or just chocolate and cookie. I'm gonna give them a seven out of ten. They, they're good. And they went to the effort to try and incorporate fall into their cookies. <laughs> She's giving them pity points. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like if they would have made the biscuit kind of have a pumpkin taste to it, it would have been good. <laughs> They're decent, and do them for trying to make fall. Trying to celebrate fall. <laughs> they didn't do a very good job. <laughs> Cookie, 10 out of 10. Chocolate, 10 out of 10. Pumpkin. Okay, by itself, it's probably, you know, an upper eight. <laughs> I do, I like all the individual parts of it, I just don't know if I like them all together. I think if they took out the chocolate, it'd be good, but then they wouldn't be themselves, you know, they gotta stay true to themselves. <laughs> okay, so that was our pumpkin spice taste test. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Riley, what would you say your favorite and least favorite thing was? Oh, wow. Um, least favorite was probably the Pop-Tarts. They're kind of gross. Yeah. And then favorite... 
I like the Eggo waffles and the Greek yogurt. I think those are tied. Ooh, hard question. Yeah, this is a very hard question. My favorite can't be the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks because that one's obvious. So let's pick another one. Um, I think one of my favorite things would probably be the muffins. My least favorite would probably be the pop charts. Okay, so that was our pumpkin spice video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did like it, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Also leave me a comment below letting me know what you thought of the video. I thought I hated pumpkin spice, but after this, it's been kind of an eye-opening oh, yeah. experience. I meant to say I'm a big pumpkin spice fan and she's not as much, so we thought it would be a good yeah, I'd be mixture like, of opinions. Yeah, exactly. Make sure that you're following us on all of our social media, especially our Snapchats, because we're on Snapchat a lot, and Instagram, and Twitter, and all of it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! 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 Bye.